Now this morning for beauty we are joined by makeup artist and blogger Seb Tomlinson who is here to tell us all about the new trend non-touring. Morning Seb. Good morning. Now tell me what is non-touring? Well we've all seen contouring for quite some time now. Oh yes. Yeah definitely been made famous by the likes of Kim Kardashian and we're seeing it all over the runway and in print and now we're stepping towards a more natural more glowing more youthful look and that has been termed non-touring so how do you how do you actually do it well the best thing about it is that it's super easy we've got three simple steps so we start off with a primer and that's essential for any makeup look um, but what a primer does is it sits on the surface of the skin and it keeps the makeup on all day so I like to use for this particular trend a primer that has an illuminator in it. So okay. that's going to give your skin a really beautiful glow. So slightly shimmery? Slightly shimmery, mm -hmm. yep. And then the next step we're going to go on to is a really light coverage foundation. So either a BB cream or a tinted moisturiser. It's all about fresh, youthful skin. Oh, I'm liking this yeah. already. Yeah, <laughs> so easy too, which is great. Um, and the last step is highlighting. So. All we're going to do is go and highlight along the top of the cheekbones, the temples, the nose and the cupid's bow. So this is the non-touring part, you're just using a highlighter as opposed to all the dark stuff where Absolutely. you do the contouring. Yeah, so we're skipping a lot of steps, which I'm all about that. Wow, <laughs> this sounds really easy. Yeah, super I'm easy. I'm so about easy. Yeah. So there's some pictures on the screen now, we can see it's a oh, beautiful shimmer. What about if you are slightly older, can you still use this shimmer in your, on your sort of brow like that or is it going to go into the wrinkles? Absolutely. Um, I am in my mid-30s and I still shimmer every day. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that either a powder or a liquid is fine for all skin types. It really just depends how well it will last on the skin. Yeah, okay. I want to talk a little bit more about that actually, the different kinds of highlight highlighters that you can get. So mm -hmm. you've got powders. Yep which is what I'm wearing today. Have you? So yep. where have you put it on your face, just out of interest? So I like to wear it along the top of my cheekbone mainly, right. and then my favourite place to put it is on the tip of my nose. Okay, why on the tip of your nose? It creates a really beautiful little button nose effect, and I just think it, it gives you a really nice highlight. A lot of makeup artists will do the whole nose, but um, I think this is more wearable for every day. And so what about a liquid? Where would you put a liquid on? Same places. It really just depends on your skin type and how well it's going to wear on the skin. So with my skin, it's very oily, so I'll always wear a powder. So you, do you like different highlighters for different skin tones? Absolutely, yeah. I have all of them in my kit, so it really just depends on your skin tone, and it's always good to go and... Go and have a little play around, have, actually. Absolutely, at the makeup it, it really depends. I'm just having a look, thanks. I'm not going to buy today. <laughs> yeah. Try them all on. That's a good idea, or on the back of your hand. Yeah. I always feel when I wear a shimmer, though, up here, I just feel like I'm, like I'm trying to be mutton dressed as lamb. Um. <laughs> How do I escape that? <laughs> Is there a certain kind of things I should be wearing or not wearing? I don't think so. I think because this look is so natural and we really don't have a lot of makeup on, yeah. you'll find that it will look really fresh. Good. Um, and it's all about creating that youth, so we're getting a fuller brow, more kind of neutral colours and stepping towards something that is entirely different than what we've been seeing. Good. I'm all about, for, I'm all about the youthful look and the yeah. brows <laughs> and everything. Too. Me so too. what colours would you team with this look then for um, the eyes and lips going into a summer in New Zealand? I think going into summer we want to see really warm tones again, um, peaches, pinks, beautiful on the eyes and the lips and it's yep. just going to warm up. There's screen there, yeah. beautiful. So gorgeous and it's going to go with every skin tone as well. Right, okay, I'm just going to have to get home. If it sounds easier than contouring, I'm all for it because yeah. I've tried the contouring before, not with a huge amount of success. I leave that to our beautiful makeup artists here, they do a <laughs> ma magnificent job. Hey, thank you so much for coming no in. No worries, thank non -touring. you. Non-touring. So there you go, thank you so much and for more from Seb, go to her website, sebmakeup.com.